from God was hell is not for children. Hell is not for children. Come on, tell somebody, hell is not for children. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. Hell was not made for children. And that's why Jesus said unto us that we are to be like children. 1,802 times it is said in Bible that we ought to be children. Did you hear what I said? 1,802 times the Bible mentioned children. And 201 times it mentioned the word child. The theme of Bible is that we ought to be like children. Hello, somebody. For if you're like children, you are pliable. When you're a child, you can be molded. You can be groomed. You can be structured. The problem is many of us have grown up. We have become adults. Hello. We have become adults and we're not children anymore. And so God can't work with us. We have a mind of our own. You know when you're an adult, adults want to do what adults want to do. But the Lord is looking for children. He said, what? Suffer the little children to what? And forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of God. And we saw the children today. They're excited. They're waving their hand. They're clapping. They're singing. And some are shy. Some are not shy. But, but they're singing and they're moving. And they're going to the beat. And I'm sure if you go back, there were great elation when they went back. They said, oh, we did it. And so it should be when it comes to the kingdom of God. Hello. Come on, somebody. So it should be when it comes to the kingdom. We ought to be like little children. Mm -hmm. And that's what God is looking for. Hell is not made for children. You know, I got a call this weekend. Uh, a mentor and I were having a conversation. He said, he said, he called me and he said, he said, man, he said, Drew, because that's what God said, Drew, I gotta take this, I gotta take this, I gotta take this. You know, I went to, this is bit too he said, I went to my uh, I went to a, a project, I was doing a project, and after the project was over, uh, I was tired, and so I took a hot shower. And he said, he, when he went into the shower, the shower was so hot, he said, ah, oh, my God, I hope I never go to hell. <laughs> he said, whoa, this shower feels like, I said, this is what hell feels like, man, I don't want to go. So I'm laughing, he said, he got out of the shower, and so he put fire, wood in the fireplace, and he said, oh, come on, honey, let's sit down and have a moment, you know, just sit down and enjoy the fire. But when he sat by the fire, the fire was extremely hot, and he looked at his wife and said, honey, whatever you do, don't go to hell. Friend, this is like hell. I don't want to be there, and you shouldn't want to be there. But he said he went to bed, and you know, when, when they went to bed, he, as soon as he went to bed, there was, there was a knock in his spirit. The minute he lay down, there was a knock on his spirit. As soon as his body fell asleep, he woke up in the spirit. And God was there, ready to chastise him. God said, before he got there, he said, when he got into the field, not the door, he, he was taken to a place. And when he was taken to a place, he saw himself. And he had all his five children with him. And he saw that he pushed his five children in a room. The room was filled with fire and smoke and burning. And he closed the door. And the kids were crying, Daddy, Daddy, let me out, please. Why, Daddy, please, Daddy. And he closed the door and he locked it. And he walked away. And the kids were crying, Daddy, Daddy, please. And he stealed it and he walked away without remorse. And then on his way up out of the vision, God stopped him. And said, how dare you accuse me of putting my children in hell? Remember, he told his wife, don't go to hell. He said, how dare you mention that I put my children in hell? If you would put your children in in the fire. Why would I put mine? Oh, Jesus. Hell is not for children. And hell is not for God's children. Hell is not for God's children. For children should be thrown into the fire. For children are innocent. Children are pliable. Children 
children can be led. For those who are led by the Spirit are sons and children of God. God can deal with ego just that. He said, how dare you? Said I put, I would never put my children in hell. If you would do that to yours, but when he saw it, his heart was broken, when he was coming, how can I do this to my own? But God said, if I, you wouldn't do it to yours, why would I do it to mine? Tell the church that I will not put my children or send my children to hell, but hell is not for children. The reason why we go to hell is because we're a child, but not a child of God. He told the scribes and the Pharisees, he said, look, you are a child of the devil. Oh, Jesus. A rebellious child is one who said, I don't want to be a child. I want to. You know, when you were young, when you were in your teens, remember when you were in your teens, and you said to mama, well, I want to do what I want to do? I sit there like you're innocent. Oh, I don't want to, I want to do what I want to do. Huh? I'm my own person. And we become rebellious. When you become rebellious, God can't work with you. When you become rebellious, you're not pliable anymore. And God can't deal with you. God said to tell you that hell is not for children. Hell is not meant for children. Hell is meant for rebels. And not for children. And I, I'm not the speaker today. And without any further ado. But I wanted to leave you with that. To let you know that hell is not for children. And that's the word that impressed my heart so indelibly this week. That hell is not for children. Hell is not for children. It's so how do I avoid hell, Jesus? I have to be a child. I have to be a child of God. I have to submit my ways to God. Somebody say, submit my ways. It's easier to say than to do it. For some of us want to go to heaven, but we want to go to heaven with our own ways. Yeah, you want me to tell you how you're going to be blessed and shaped up and turned over tomorrow. But I'm going to tell you that you've got to submit your ways. And he'll direct your path. For hell is not for children. Somebody say hell is not for children. Hell is not meant for children. Hell is meant for rebels. Hell is meant for them who refuses to comply to the will of God. Who wants to go their own way? And I'm going to tell you, sometimes you say some things to people and they don't feel good about it. And so, hmm, I'm not coming. I'm not doing it. That's not my loss. Hell was meant for the devil. But the devil is a rebel. I don't need your amen. God spoke to me anyway. Is not meant for the children of God. Oh God, the Bible said there was a parable. Somebody came in, and about the wheat and the tear grew, grew up. And said, How did this happen? While men slept, somebody crept in unaware and planted the seed. But God said, Don't worry. When the end come, my angel will come and gather the wheat and gather the tear. And I'm going to separate the two. Hell is not for children. God is not going to mix the wheat with the tear. God's not going to send his children to hell. And you better believe that hell is a real place. 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 But God said, I didn't make it for you. I made it for the devil. But if you want to follow the devil, if you want to follow this world, if you don't want to be conformed and my mind be renewed unto God, well, hell will be for you. Lord Jesus, I don't want I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. Hell is not for children. How can I escape the wrath of hell? How can I get away from that which God will put upon the, re the rebellious and the stiff-necked heart. I must comply to his will. I must comply to his way. For that's the only way to escape the fire that is to come. Why is it when Jesus walked in to Jerusalem, the children 
jumped up. They said, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed he is he that come in the name of the Lord. And the children rejoice and wave the palm. And the children were waving. And the Pharisees said, let's shut them up. Don't you see these children out of the line? I can't shut up children. You can't silence and censor children. Children will just do things at random. They'll do things at random. They'll wave their hand. They'll kick their feet. They'll jump over the chair. They'll worship. They'll sing aloud. They'll scream. Children are ready. You can't stop the praises of children. Come on, if you're in the children business, you should know. If you're a teacher, a day worker, you should understand how children function. Children, you can't temper them. You can't censor them. They'll say anything. When Jesus walked in, the children started to wave their hands. Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. I wish some of our hearts will get petty and pliable. I wish some of our hearts will cry out, Hosanna! Welcome in my heart. Here comes Jesus in my heart. I wish to God. Bless the Lord. Bless God. My God. Thank you. Hell was not meant for children. Children. For children are a heritage of the Lord. Children are heritage. He says, suffer them to come. Allow them to come. Don't stop them from coming. The kingdom is filled. It's all filled with children. The kingdom of heaven, the church, the kingdom of God in the heavens are filled with children. You start crying when a child dies. Don't cry when a child dies. A child can't go to hell. Hmm? A, a literal child can't go to hell when they die. You should have run mourning for them. So it is when a child of God dies. They cannot go to hell. For hell was not meant for. Children. Hell was meant for adults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not preaching with you. God. I'm preaching anyhow. <laughs> not to one. Hell was meant for adults. Adults like to do. I'm an adult. Huh? I'm an adult. I make my own decisions. I do my own thing. But God can't work with you. In the spirit world, God's not looking for adults. He's looking for children. Some of the little children. That's what the Bible calls them the children of heaven, the children of the most high, the children of God, the children, the children. If you look to your Bible, 1,802 times, the Bible mentioned that they're children. The children of light, even the children of darkness, the children of the devil. He mentioned children, children, children. For children is all. He sees us as children. When you have your own way and do your own thing, when God touched your heart and God is calling you and you refuse to comply, what you're saying to God is that I have my own mind and I can do what I want to do and I can say what I want to say and I can go where I want to go and I can be what I want to be. God said, I can't deal with you. I can't work with you. Hmm? I cannot. I only deal with children. Time's running, time's running. Come, come, come. Hell is not for. Hell is not for. Hell is not for. Hell is not for. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Sorry, Lord. The Bible is true today. First John chapter two. Thank you, Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. I can't help it. I got the can't help it. No, I can't help it. I can't help it. God, suffer the little children. Oh, God. John wrote in 1 John chapter 2. Sit down. He wrote, he said, my little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. He wants to tell us that God did something for us. Ah, he he was the perpetuation. He was the divine substitution for us. He died for you, Sister Nicole. And you don't have to worry. John said, my little children. That means God sees us as children. He said, my little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. Ah, but if any man sin, we have an advocate. We had a lawyer with the Father, Jesus Christ.